Jane, thanks for chatting with us today. Appreciate you being here. Glad to be here. On Mad Men, the one woman in the agency who is portrayed as aggressive and smart and allowed to really touch the creative product, that's Peggy Olson. Who in the real world most reminds you of Peggy? Am I allowed to say me? <laughs> Peggy and I scrabbled our way up in this very male world where women were only allowed to work on women's products. I, I was uh, working only on things like vanish toilet bowl cleaner. Stuck with the nastiest job in the house? Make it vanish. Vanish? And drain, oh, drain pipe opener and soaps and detergents and beverages. I use Maxim because I think it's excellent. But more important, my husband thinks so too. Women at that point weren't allowed to work on automobiles. We weren't allowed to work on uh, banks because men figured we didn't know how to balance our checkbooks. How could we possibly work in a financial account? Maybe she understands now. Dove, the dishwashing liquid that thinks it's a hand lotion. You are a copywriter at Ogilvy & Mather, a yeah. very well-known advertising agency. What was your favorite part of the job? My favorite part of the job, oh, Rupal, was, was working with David Ogilvy. Truly, truly a great advertising man and a very sexy gentleman. I had a huge crush on him, but he never... You never made a move on any Yorker. woman in the agency. In that single issue, there were five four-color pages in New Yorker. Five bloody good ads, too. I asked his uh, chief of staff once whether David ever, ever had affairs. I said he seemed so circumspect. The chief of staff had another martini, and he said, David Ogilvy is one of the great swordsmen of the Western world. <laughs> <laughs> so on Mad Men, there was a lot of sex in the office. Do you think it was like that back at that time? It was, it, Young and Rubicum was considered the hotbed of sex. Y&R is said to be the prototype of, of, uh, of, of the agency in Mad Men. Uh, and I talked to a number of women there. Uh, one of them was very forthright in telling me, well, yes, I, I lost my virginity to the account executive on Lime Jello. <laughs> There was a lot of sex in the office, particularly among the senior, most senior executive men, because they had offices with doors that shut, and they had couches. The junior men had only had chairs. And of course, there were a number of women who wanted to be promoted from secretary to copywriter, um, and they thought that the best way to make it up was to make it with the boss. Do you think the business is as much fun today as it was? back in your day and on, as it's portrayed on Mad Men? Well, I don't think there's as much sex in the office because everybody's in cubicles now, uh, so that's not as much fun. <laughs> and I think people are working a lot harder, so the three martini lunch has definitely gone bye-bye. I'm so excited. I'm going to get green. Let Maxima cool your of advertising has changed quite a bit since the 60s. One of the things that's definitely different is the proliferation of all of these new media platforms. Rupa, I think it, it must be much harder to be a Don Draper today. Uh, you've got to have so many balls in the air. You've got to know not only traditional, you've got to know the social media and digital and how to write a banner ad that persuades people. I, I think that strategy and positioning is much more important these days. Mm -hmm. I think one thing is happening today that we didn't know so much about, and that is the importance of insights, the ability to hit your, your target audience in the heart or in the gut with, with an emotional insight. We used to, you know, bang, 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 bang. Take it off, take it off, take it all off. Noxima. <laughs> repeat something four or five times and right. you, you could go home and say, well, I've done my job. Right. No longer. Well, thanks so much for chatting with us. Appreciate it. I always love talking to you, Rupal. You've got a great pair of hands.